What's up, everybody that's tuning in on YouTube? You are watching Minding Your Biz with me, Ivory Orr. And I'm very excited about today's interview because with this interview, I get to do two things. I get to kick off two different series that I'm gonna continue on my channel. The first one of those series is called Black Friday. Black Friday is this, on every Friday, we're gonna highlight a different Black-owned business. Now. Why black owned business? It's not because I'm racist, I love everybody. But I believe if you're gonna fix the problems in our country, that we have to take responsibility to fix the problems in our own community first before we can help anyone else, all right? And in our community, we have a wealth problem, right? And I believe that one of the ways to fix that wealth problem is through entrepreneurship. So I wanna promote it every chance I get on my channel. So the other series, that I'm gonna start is focusing on power couples, all right? And my guests today fit both of those criteria. So I'm gonna be able to kick off two series in one, all right? And my guest today is none other than the owners of TJ and TJ Insurance Agency and Jones, Jones Home Loan Mortgage, uh, Thomas and Terry Jones. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for coming on everybody. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're awesome. So can you please tell the people a little bit about yourself and then we're going to go ahead and, and jump right into it. Sure. Uh, TJ, I've been in the insurance industry now over 22 years and uh, working in various fields, uh, decided to branch out on my own and started TJ and TJ Insurance Agency over eight years ago. Okay. And uh, we've been we've been plucking, plucking ever since. <laughs> well, Let's, let's get right into it. Because see, when most people think about insurance, I know when I think about insurance, I usually think about it as, as a cost to me, right? I think about it as something that's draining my pocket. You know, when you think about insurance, you think car insurance, health insurance, life insurance, you think about things that you have to pay that you don't want to pay, right? But this channel is all about building wealth. So how can you use insurance to actually build wealth, to, to put money in your pocket? You can use insurance. Insurance is probably one of the best mechanisms that you can use to build wealth. Okay. Uh, most people think about insurance, they think about it from a death standpoint. Mm -hmm. But if we could educate people and to show them that insurance, whether you can pay for your children's uh, uh, education, mm -hmm. where I never forget years ago, my very first client was a six or seven year old lady and I was a general manager of one of the finance companies, and she brought in to me her insurance that she was drawing over $8,000 a month. And 15 years ago, I started introducing to everybody an index universal life product that can not only take care of, provide you with a death benefit, but it can also help you with a, with a of course, retirement plan from an insurance that you don't have to pay taxes on. All right. Okay, and so, so say, say that again. What, what is that called again? This is called the Index Universal Life. And it gives, it? there's three benefits. Okay. One, it gives you a death benefit. Number two, it gives you a retirement benefit where you can draw non-tax income to go along with your Social Security, your pensions, your 401ks, and other things. So, no so in our community, it is that's what we focus on educating you okay. can't look at insurance as a uh, death benefit you got to view insurance as what it is it is a mechanism to help you save money and to be there when something happens for you so so with this type of policy uh, uh index universal policy am i saying it right yeah okay with that type of policy not only do I have the normal coverage that you know people buy life insurance for, right? So if I yeah, pass away, I leave some money to, to, to my daughter, right? Uh, or whoever I decide to leave it to. But I can also use that as like retirement money. I can actually pull money out while I'm still alive because that's, that's what I want. Why are you still alive? I want to know <laughs> while I'm still kicking, 
how I can right. make some money off insurance. I want to, you know, I, I want to ball out before I go, and I want to know how insurance can, can help me do this. So you're telling me this type of policy, by by investing in this type of policy, I can actually build money for myself, build wealth for myself, and be able to, right. to 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 pull it out while I'm still here, and still while you're still have, and still have a death benefit that will pay out to uh, my beneficiaries. That's correct. Okay, all right. That's that's the edge. That's the beauty about insurance is having the right policy and not thinking about insurance from a death standpoint. But what can this insurance do for me while I'm living right now? Okay. Now, somebody who's watching this, and, and, and I, I try to break this down for regular people. So I'm I'm watching this and I, I'm interested now. What am, what do I need to do? How much is this gonna cost me? Like give me like an idea of the basics. Well, this type of policy is uh, not, I know we, a lot of times we see, first thing you need to do is we need to sit down, is that we need to talk, we need to look at your budget, we need to see what you're trying to accomplish. Okay. And with that, we have to get people out of the mindset of cheap insurance. Okay. Because not, not cheap insurance. Yeah, cheap insurance is exactly what it is. It's cheap insurance. Mm -hmm. okay. And so we got to get you on the mindset that says, this is an investment for me and for my household. Mm -hmm. And so depends on what you are trying to accomplish. It may cost you. Uh, it may cost you $150 a month. It may cost you $300 a month. It may cost somebody else who won't. Uh, depends on what they want, $500 a month. Yeah. So, but that will be determined once we sit down and determine your need for this policy. Well, either way, this this type of policy is an investment, not just yes. a bill. Because I that's correct. I, I I don't I like I said we normally think about insurance as a bill. This ain't a bill. This is actually an investment. So this is even if it does cost a little bit more, this is something that I'm going to be able to benefit from down the line while I'm That's here correct. and set myself up to pass wealth down to my child, right? Or That's to correct. whoever I, I, I uh, name is my beneficiary. So. That's okay. correct. All right, uh, just let, let's pivot just a little bit. You guys are a husband and wife couple. Um, I know a lot of people out there see that and will be inspired by it. I know some people will be, uh, see that and be like, man, I can never work with my spouse. <laughs> <laughs> how is it, how is it being in business, you know, with your spouse? Well, we, we have to stay, everybody has to stay in their lane. That's right. You know, Terry's <laughs> lane is what she's doing now. You know, she's connecting with you. She's in the community. I'm the sales guy. Okay. I'm, the, I'm the guy that will sit down with you, go over the paperwork, uh, go over your plans. And so we don't cross pollinate. I'm not good at tech stuff, and but that's her thing. So we stay in one another's lane and it works well for us. Yeah, we complement each other. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Um, tell me this, what made you guys decide to, to get in, into insurance? Because I try to tell people, Another focus of my channel is showing our people that there are several different ways to, to build wealth, right? You know, when, when our community starts to think about how to build wealth, first thing that, that jumps in most people's minds is sports and entertainment. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you get people thinking your traditional stuff, you know, doctor, lawyer, and, you know, and, and that's great as well. But I want to be able to give examples to our community of ways that you can get to it, that you can get to the money, uh, you know, that's different from the, the traditional paths that we think about. So what made you guys choose insurance out of all things to, 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 to yeah, build wealth? Well, to, yeah, you know, one of the things we chose insurance is that we wanted a business that could help people mm -hmm. okay. and that we could sit down and, you know, one plus one is still two, no matter who, no matter who's, uh, you know, teaching it. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted a business that we can feel good about at the end of the day that can help people generate wealth and help place. Because here's the thing. Nine years ago, when I left my corporate American job and I was making over six figure income. Okay. And it took Terry almost 
two years before she gave me the okay to start the, to start the business. But it was that my, my, in, in my years of being in the financial arena, mm -hmm. insurance was the thing that stuck out to me. It was it's something that is needed if taught right. It's something that can help uh, our communities. Uh, just think about this for a second. Uh, at the Social Security income for the average person here in Duval County, which has the highest poverty rate, is only $1,300 a month. Mm. And so if you think about that, can you live off of $1,300 a month? And the answer is probably no, that you can't live off of. So what would be your other aspects of it? So now with insurance, we can come along and we can start plugging those holes. We can plug it with 401ks, we can plug it with pensions, we can plug it with uh, index annuity, we can show you now how to create wealth through real estate. And so now we have a plethora of uh, opportunities and businesses, but insurance is the key to it all. Mm -hmm. And having the right policy, having the right retirement structure, and those things can really help launch a family. Okay. And you can pass this down to your And you can daughter. pass yeah. this down to your, to family. your family. Yeah, because our daughter is licensed. We're going to have our grandkids licensed. So, yeah. Okay, well, you, just, you guys just touched on three things that I want to cover. Um, first thing is, I heard you say the word annuity. And in, in, in studying uh, the, the world of finance, I keep hearing that term annuity. And... I'm thinking this is a way that I can make me some money. So what is an annuity and how can I use it to make some money? Well, an annuity, once again, is a, another vehicle. Uh, and I always try to educate people on this here. Uh, we see and hear all the commercials. They say, hey, you don't want an annuity. Don't get an annuity. But let me tell you this right here. In the, when 9-11 hit, when you had your 401k and those people that had their money into an index annuity didn't lose a dime. Okay. But right now you can take right now where we have lost in the 401k over $3 trillion since March the 11th. But if you had a annuity, it was which wrong. an annuity, even if the market crashes and the market is bad, you don't lose your principal amount of money. You don't lose the interest that you're gaining. You just don't earn anything right now. Mm -hmm. And so as the market begins to work its way back, now you begin to earn again. And that's the beauty and the safe about an index annuity. Mm -hmm. So, and so, so you get, you get the, the stability of, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't drop when the market drops. That's like correct. It may just stop earning extra money. It may, it may stop growing. But it, that's correct. You, do, you don't lose, right? You don't when lose. When the market goes up, you benefit from the rise in the market. There you go. Right. That's why it's a beauty about that's the beauty about uh, index annuity. Mm -hmm. It's what we call in this industry, uh, zero is your hero. So in other words, <laughs> when the market crash, you okay. You don't have to panic. You don't have to call me. You don't have to worry. You don't have to say, <laughs> "Can we? I'm gonna lose my money." You don't have to do none of that. And this is a track record for years. And what's happening is that all over 36 states and cities have turned their retirement pensions over from a 401k stand to a annuity. And they have turned those over to insurance companies to run their, uh, their uh, company retirement plans mm -hmm. because they see the value in long-term growth. And so it's important, and let, not now, we have the ability to be able to help someone start an annuity with less than $100, less than $100 a month. I was going to ask you, how, how much would it cost to, to get started? You can get started less than $100 a month. Where can you go? Hmm. I challenge anybody. Where can you go? Can you go to Wells Fargo? Can you go to Bank of America? Can you go to Five Star, Jack's Federal? Can you go to the Police Credit Union? Can you go to any of those credit unions and say, can you guarantee me 1.75% on a fixed rate with this $50 a month that I'm going to put and start this CD? Or I'm going to start this RRA? Or I'm going to start this Roth RRA? No. They're going to give you about 0.25% on 
and make you feel great, and they're going to, in turn, get all the interest and give you a quarter of the $2 that they just earned. I, I so this is why we... I, I did a video about that, about basically you, you, you're cutting out the middleman. The bank is basically a middleman. They're using your middleman. money to, to, to make the, the right investments. They're giving you pennies, and they're, they're earning all the big interest. They're putting in the high interest bearing accounts, so they're That's right. running it out um, to, for, for bigger interest. They're putting your money to use. So I always, you know, advocate to people to, you know, you put your money to use and you these are some of the ways that you ways you can do it. Um, another thing that you guys touched on was, and I see that you also have another company, Jones Home Loan Mortgage. So you're in the real estate as well, right? Yeah, yeah it's a difference. Okay. Most people, there's a difference between a realtor. I'm not a realtor. I am a mortgage broker. We have, we are one of the few black mortgage broker firms in Jacksonville. What's the difference? And so the difference is we the ones that you would come to first to get the money. So when you are sitting down and you, whether you go into a bank to sit down to try to get a uh, VA loan or FHA loan or a conventional loan, you want to come directly to the money people. Our uh, line of credit is not short. I tell people I can. My line of credit is long enough where I can fund a hundred homes a month at five hundred thousand dollars. Just to show you that our line of credit that we have is not uh, small. So we can do the same VA loans. We are the bank. In, in a we we are the banks. You so go. you would want to come to us first mm -hmm. to get yourself qualified. And then once you get qualified, then now we send you to the realtors who will now find you your find you your home and all those things. Because now you got your your approval in hand. There you go. So so step one, I come to someone like yourselves, yes. I get pre-approved so I know what I'm able to purchase. And I don't even like to use the term pre-approved. Okay. Because we don't do pre-approvals. We do approvals. So when you come sit down with us and we put that paper in hand, that means that we don't already qualify you already for that home. Well, all you need to do is find a home. Well, well, we're gonna have a conversation off camera about this because, <laughs> I, like, listen, and people who've been watching my channel, they're familiar with this. I'm all about building up your, your several different streams of income. You know, right. my main source of income is entertainment. But that's not that's not what's going to make me wealthy. What's going to make me wealthy is that I have money coming in from all different directions. Now that this, we're on quarantine, there's no entertainment money coming in. But I have that's money right. coming in from my other businesses. So I try to tell people, you have to establish your streams of income. Now, you guys, you have your insurance agency. But mm -hmm. along with that, you have your mortgage company. And are you investing in properties as well yourselves? Now, we also have TJ and TJ uh, enterprise TJ and TJ enterprise. This is where we teach on the other side of real estate about purchasing tax deeds and tax certificate properties. And so we teach that and we own tons of property land right here in Jacksonville, uh, Georgia, Georgia and of course, Palika, Inalakit, and we own land in those towns that we purchase off of the tax deed uh, sale. Mm -hmm. And so that's another way that you can create wealth. <coughs> break, that so, down, break that down for me just a little bit. You said, <laughs> I know, I know uh, for a lot of people, this may be going over the head and some people may just be getting started. I don't want you to get intimidated. These are regular people just like you right. and me. Yeah. So, uh, and that's why I have them on here. I don't want to bring on superstar celebrity people. <laughs> they don't have to be that to build wealth. So these are regular people that took the time to educate themselves on the, the, these types of topics. So break down, you said you buy tax deed properties. What does that mean? Yeah, there's, there's two type of things. You got what we call tax certificates. Okay. Tax certificates are every year when people do not pay their property tax. And the city is not in the business of holding people property taxes. But they want so the money. city puts those up for bid. Now the ones who wins is the it's the lowest interest rate so when you're talking about trying to uh put money aside to really get a return on your money and if you win that bid at 12 percent so if if there was two thousand dollars or three thousand dollars that you paid for somebody for back taxes 
Okay. And you paid them at 12%. Then the next year, they didn't pay the property taxes and you pay it again and at 12%. So what happens is now you got now you got your money out there. If they they got they got they got one year to pay you back. If they if they don't pay you back, then you do what we call a tax deed application, which is a foreclosure process that you foreclose on their property. So, so now these property goes property. up for full sale. So basically you got that property for just whatever it costs you to pay the taxes, whatever the back taxes. That's are. correct. Let's say if they owe two thousand dollars in back taxes, they, they they for whatever reason they didn't pay the taxes and it was two thousand dollars. And you paid that two thousand dollars for them, right? Uh, they would have to pay you your money back plus uh, plus, interest. Interest, plus plus whatever the percentage. Let's yeah, say whatever the interest is. All right, whatever the interest is, right? They pay you your money back. Now, if they don't pay you your money back, then now you get to keep that property. You can apply to keep that property just for the money that you paid, the, the two thousand dollars that you paid. Yeah, and what you have to do from that point, from the tax certificate standpoint, if they don't pay you, then you got a right come June to what we call what would create a foreclosure. Okay. So now you can foreclose on that property. And of course, you know, it will go to the foreclosure floor. So okay. somebody else may come along and maybe bid the property up a little bit. But when you think about it, it's a no brainer. When you talk about those are win-win situations. And we started doing that, just taking our income tax money that we got every year. Stop. And we would go, and nowadays you don't have to go anywhere. Just go online now. So, 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 stop. Hold up, right there. Hold up. <laughs> see, see, see. Now we got some synergy. And, 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 and my, I think my last video I talked about what you could do just by taking your income taxes. We take our income tax money, or we take the Trump money that just came in, <laughs> and, and we spend it on on barbecues and, and crab legs and these types of things. But you telling me that you're taking income tax money that you took income tax money and used it to buy tax certificates and, and to, to, to start right. this business. You, you took money, you worked your job, you got income, a income tax return from that job, and then you took that money and instead of blowing it, you invested it and it has That's turned right. into a, a, a source of income for you guys. That's correct. See? Mm -hmm. That's correct. So, so this is what we come to this channel for. This is what this channel is yeah. all about. That's that's a strategy that a regular person can anybody do affect. You don't have to be rich to do that. No, no, no. You have to be rich. You just need to know what you are trying to accomplish. You can you can go and create what whatever business name you want to create it is. You know, uh, Ivory. You know, Ivory LLC or whatever, and take that money and make that money work for you. Like you say, we for seven years we went down to Georgia and we purchased three pieces of property. One had a three bedroom, one bath. One had a two bedroom, one bath, and one was a quarter acre. And we was able to purchase all three of those property for fifty two, fifty two hundred dollars. Right. Wow. Okay. Fifty two hundred dollars. And all I did was took a sign for one of those properties and put my 800 of them on it and put for sale sign up there and says, uh, this one property here, I'm asking $10,000. Don't have to do anything. It's paid for outright. You can board it up if you choose to until you decide whatever you want to do. Yeah. But those are the little things that we... When you talk about creating wealth, it, it's not something that's just going to happen. You got to plan it and make it happen. Right. So we to took that money strategy. for years. You got to strategize. And that's what that's the beauty about working with a independent. We are one of the true independent insurance agencies here in Jacksonville, Florida. We're not we're not owned by all state, prudential, none of them. Okay. We are a true independent agent. That's why we can sit down with you and take your time and can go over your plan that you want to accomplish and can help you get there. Mm -hmm. So tell me this, if, I, if, I'm, uh, if I'm watching this, this episode and I want, I say, man, you know, I want to be like uh, Thomas and Terry. I want to be like them, right? And I, I want to start an insurance agency one day. Like what would they, what, 
what steps would they need to take? What do they have to do? First thing they need to do is get themselves licensed. Mm -hmm. okay. Here in the state of Florida, uh, you have your, what we call your 215 license. Okay. Um, now we, we have a partnership with different uh, companies that they can, if they're good and taking their courses online, we can give them discounts. Uh, FCCJ uh, have those courses as well. And you need to be in this business working with us uh, for at least five years. Okay. Because five years would give you the ability to really understand insurance because insurance is a vast field. Yeah. Right. So not only do we do insurance now, you got to think about from the standpoint, we have our 220 license, which means that we do flood, we do uh, business insurance, um, we do uh, homeowners insurance, rental insurance. And so each license uh, give you the ability to be able to do certain things. And so within um, the industry, it's a bunch of different. It's a bunch of different things, different things you can do. Within that industry, gotcha. Yeah, but you got to just get your 215 license. Uh, we've helped tons of agents all over this state uh, start their insurance agent. And uh, so because this is a business that we are part of the uh, uh, Black Insurance uh, Association. Okay. Because it's not many Black-owned uh, insurance agencies. Mm -hmm. and, it's not, and so we try to help to get as many Blacks as we can in the insurance industry because it is a profitable mm -hmm. uh, industry. Gotcha. Okay, so yes. mm -hmm. let's, let, let's talk about, um, because when I talk to you guys off camera, I heard that you teach classes and you, you help people, mm -hmm. not only with just insurance, but just money management and things like that. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, we started, uh, matter of fact, <laughs> it was kind of crazy how it got started. Um, but um, Terry and myself thought that we were both good at financing. And so uh, in, 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 in doing that, um, we started this Money Matters. And so we started just helping people, uh, helping churches with their budget, sitting down, helping them create a budget, whether they got paid weekly, whether they got paid monthly, bi-weekly, whatever. And we started sitting down, helping them structure their budget. And it started all 13 years ago when I brought in major companies. I brought in Kansas City Life, which is a 150-year-old company, a multi-trillion dollar insurance company out of Kansas City. And we brought them in and I revealed to them information that I had gotten that Duval County had the highest poverty rates out of all counties around Duval. And we would say, what can we do? And I says, well, we've been starting this money management. We've been starting helping people budget. That was the first time that we saw a transformation. See, we got to get things out of our head and get them on paper so that we have a structured plan to be able to save money, to be able to put money aside. And when we teach you how to have six months, I started TJ and TJ Insurance Agency debt-free. We, we got the building, we got the computers, we got the desks, everything in it was debt-free from our emergency money that we had set up. We had nine months of emergency money that we had started planning. And so everything starts with planning. If you, if you, if you want to succeed, especially in the, in the finance arena, having that uh, legacy to pass down, that, that generational wealth, uh, it starts with sitting down with, with somebody. Mm -hmm. When I go to the doctor, I don't, I don't fuss with the doctor. <laughs> I just let him tell, I, I let him help me. But that's what we're here for. We are the professionals that can sit down, that can help guide you into the right direction. Mm -hmm. The now, power of a pen and paper. That's what we call it, <laughs> the power of a pen and piece of paper. Now, mm -hmm. well, correct me if I'm wrong, because I, when I was talking to uh, Terry about this beforehand, I don't know if I heard this right, but do y'all teach these Money Matters classes for free? For free. free. For wait, free. Wait, wait, wait. We've been so blessed and so, and, 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 and so, um, and this is our, one of our ways of giving back. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we give back to, to uh, businesses. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, we go to major companies. We do what we call lunch and learns there. Uh, well, churches. we churches, yeah, um, yeah. small <laughs> workshops. Oh, 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 oh. So, <laughs> so, so you trying to tell me right here where we live, right yes. here where we live, a person who wants to, 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 to learn from somebody who has real estate, who wants to meet people who are, who, 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 uh, who loan money, uh, uh, mm -hmm. who have their own mortgage company, who, mm -hmm. who has knowledge about insurance and, and several other things, tax certificates, these, they can come and get all this information and it yeah. don't cost them a dime. Don't cost them a dime. So that's every time, okay. yeah, every time somebody meet with us at the end, it's like, what do we owe you all? <laughs> So, like no so what you're trying to tell me is no excuse. No excuse. No excuse. No excuse for a person not getting this information. Because there ain't nothing stopping them from getting the information. They can come to your 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 seminars when you put them together and they can get this information for free. For free. Yeah. And we'd have free financial needs analysis free. where they can come to the office. They can come to the office. One on one, privately. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Y'all do private convers consultations for free? Yeah, for yeah. free. I'm about to walk off the camera. I'm about to walk off the camera. <laughs> because listen, Drop the mic. <laughs> listen, Terry, Thomas, I'm going to lose a lot of friends behind this. Because if somebody come to me and tell me, you know, that they don't have any money, they don't know how they're going to get to it, they don't make it, I'm going to look at them sideways. Because I'm going to play the video for them one time. There you go. <laughs> I see them again, they tell me the same thing. Then we can't be friends no more. Because that means they don't want to get to it. Right. You know, they, they don't want to do better because there's obviously an opportunity out there to, yes. to, to get the information. Now, yes. not everybody who's, who's watching this is in Jacksonville, Florida. Some people, people want to see this there all over the world. Mm -hmm. How can people get in contact with you, uh, social media, however? How, how can people get in contact with you? Well, let me just say this, that we are licensed in not only Florida, Georgia, uh, Alabama, South Carolina, North Carolina, uh, Maryland, uh, Virginia, Louisiana, Texas, Mississippi, um, and California. So we're licensed in almost 10, 11 states, so, so we'll be able to help uh, a, a lot of people. Wow. But tell them how that they can, of course, you know, get in contact with us. Of them. course, our number is 904-619-5686, and we're located at 5785 Wilson Boulevard, suite number one. So what about our other ways? And on Facebook. There you go. What about on you? Facebook, TJ and TJ Insurance Agency. And basically, you can just connect with us on there, like us. You'll see some videos on there. We do Facebook Lives on there, so email. you can connect with us. And as far as email, Thomas at TJ and TJ Insurance Agency dot com. Well, I'm not gonna take up uh, any more of your time because one thing I know about successful people that, that we all have in common. You don't have a lot of time. You got a lot of time on your hands. You probably ain't doing that. So, I know, right? so you know, I know you guys. You, you got tax deeds to get by, and you know annuities to sell, and and four hundred one k, all kind of stuff. IRAs. You you guys are getting to the money. You're on your path to building wealth, and you have your children on the path mm -hmm. to building. That's wealth. right. I heard you say your daughter is licensed. So yeah, she's right. licensed. Yeah. Got a series six to three. And uh, we are six, building. Seven, seven. Yeah, she has serious six. So, so she's on a whole nother level. Whole nother level. We'll be yeah. able to pass this business down to her, and she can mm -hmm. keep. The, you can pass her the torch, and she can pass her that baton, and she can keep running. She can That's keep right. running. One keep last going. question I forgot to ask earlier: How how long does it take to get your the the the, the licenses that you need? The series six. Uh, if you if you're really serious about getting your license, it probably takes you thirty days. Mm -hmm. uh, probably less than 30 days. Mm -hmm. So I think it's about 14 chapters. You go over those chapters um, and uh, you will take an exit exam and then you have to, of course, sit for the state of Florida exam. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you, uh, you can, but the yeah. test itself, yeah. that can, oh, I think you did yours in about 30 days. Yeah. Uh, and so somebody can literally have them. And sometimes if they're serious about it, I did mine in 14 days. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it depends on each person right. that that are serious. They can they can have their license. Mm -hmm. So so again, so it doesn't even take that long. What wait? No. What, what kind of costs are associated with getting that? that? But your two fifteen, uh, the cost uh, is about one ninety nine. Mm -hmm. 
So it's about $199 mm -hmm. uh, for, that, for that course. And if you love to do stuff online, mm -hmm. just do it online. It'll be cheap. I did mine online. Mm -hmm. I did about three, four chapters a day, finished in about a week, took the exam, took the state exam, and was ready to go. So uh, it's, a, it's $199. Uh, you don't have to pay for material. Everything is, is, is right there for you. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go to one of the campuses like LCCJ, I think theirs is $200, but then you got to pay for the book, and then you got to pay for, for their $25 exam, so that may cost you about $275. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're talking about a small cost to invest in yourself to make uh, a lifetime. Positioning. Yeah. It's all about positioning. Yeah. yeah. We're going to end it on that because you said the key word, investing in yourself. Uh, that's the most important investment that you can make in yourself and it starts with your financial education and that is the whole purpose of this channel yes. so if you're watching this channel that means you're you're serious about getting to the money you might not know how you're gonna do do it but that's what what this channel is for is to give you some strategies to, to make it there and if you like what you heard today do me a favor just first of all support Thomas and Terry by supporting TJ and TJ Insurance Agency. And when you go to go buy that home or buy your investment property, oh, go to Jones Home Loan Mortgage. I know I am. Uh, you know, make sure you support my guests. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. And before we go, I just want to say thank you for tuning in to another episode of Minding Your Biz with me, Ivory Orr. We out. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.